Hi there, Dr. Nick Jensen here from Divine Elements, your hormone and detox expert. Uh, coming to you live from Revita, our naturopathic uh, supplement uh, dispensary here. And what we're talking about is your immune system. And what I wanted to hopefully hit home for you is that we're going to discuss some of my uh, top five tips and, and how to rebuild and repair and strengthen your immune system. But also just start to look at why we think that uh, we can avoid all known viruses, bacteria, etc. Uh, in our over sterilized environments. So let's talk about that a little bit. The germ theory basically says that uh, when a, an external microbe comes into the body, triggers your immune system, and you're pretty much guaranteed to get sick uh, as a result. So here's, here's the problem with that, is that what we've created in our environment is an over sterilized situation where we're using hand sanitizer, killing off our natural protective microbes, and, um, and created antibiotic resistance, uh, MRSA infections, and all sorts of other issues that show up from an overuse of antibiotics from our food supply to our own personal health, uh, to, to you name it. So this is, this is part of the problem because our natural immunity starts in our digest digestive tract. This is where our own local commensal bacteria live. And the more we wipe out uh, the, the, the presence of our natural microbial um, guys that are helping us, the more we clear out everything, and then what grows back is by virtue of our diet, uh, toxicity stress that's in our system, uh, our environmental factors, so many things influence the certain types of bacteria that live in our gut. Now what we know to be true about gut microbes and the microbiome is that diversity, a greater diversity of gut microbes Determine or allows us to have a healthier, live a healthier life. To have, there's lower incidences of illness and chronic illness with greater microbial diversity. But it's actually the strains that grow uh, that are that are most dominant that really influence health issues. And so, certain strains of bacteria can increase your risk factor for diabetes or cardiovascular disease or weight gain or autoimmune conditions. Things that we talk about all the time. So when we take antibiotics and we create a sterile environment outside of our bodies as well, we wipe out a lot of the good guys as well as what shouldn't be there. And so what we want to do is from a naturopathic approach, look at how our immune system is actually built, how it operates, how it repairs itself. And so when we start to understand the model that our, we've got this innate immune system and an acquired immune system. Innate immune system is, is what your body responds to through our mucous membranes so when we breathe in, uh, when we breathe in microbes or uh, harmful things in our environment, our immune system responds to that. And so if we build or strengthen our, our innate immune system, we can constantly respond to our environment. So instead of being in the model where an external microbe comes in and we're bound to be infected with it, we look from the inside out to create a stronger immune system from within the gut, from the, the presence of our bacteria in, in the gut, which make up 70-80% of our entire immune function. Surprise, surprise, maybe. Uh, so we have to start there before we start to just constantly kill. So our top five uh, uh, things to do to stimulate or support your healthy immune system is one, we have to support a healthy microbiome. We have to support healthy microbes in our gut. They are so important to the health of our overall body. They help us break down food. They help us absorb vitamins, minerals, enzymes, amino acids, uh, you name it. They are essential to our digestive process and subsequently our immune, uh, our immune system. Number two, we gotta decrease sugar intake. Sugar is a direct suppressor of our immune system. Uh, hopefully everybody knows this by now. The last thing your body wants when you're sick uh, is to make it sick longer and that'll happen with high sugar diets and high processed foods and high trans fats and all that stuff. Uh, number three, you got to start looking at implementing fasting into your regular regimen. Intermittent fasting is an easy tool to start to develop a more regular block uh, fasting regimen. Uh, so looking at looking at back, back at some of our videos, uh, looking at some of the research with uh, Dr. Jason Fung, uh, looking at some of Dr. Pompa's videos, there's so much resource there for, for implementing fasting. Uh, number four is discovering nutrient deficiencies. Nutrient deficiencies like vitamin D, vitamin K, vitamin A, zinc, vitamin C. There's so many uh, important vitamins, minerals, uh, amino acids and things 
that can that can play a hugely vital role on our immune system. And last but not least, what we use uh, instead of using a, a topical antiseptic, we use something called the skin colonizer. So what this is is a topical probiotic that you can use instead of a hand sanitizer to build the actual more natural microbiome that lives outside of us uh, as well as inside of us. So little do we know that the topical things that we put on our bodies, whether it be shampoos or soaps or whatever, have all sorts of different chemicals on them, they also disrupt our external bacterial presence. So what I hope you get from this video is that instead of trying to kill off what's not supposed to be there, why don't we build up what is supposed to be there? And we can do that through our food, through our fasting, through diet, through supplementation, and through putting some wonderful good microbes back onto the skin, back inside the body that can help to strengthen our immune system. Okay, so that's that's all we've got for today. Uh, please share the video if you feel someone else could benefit from, from learning about how to build their immune system. We'll be talking a little bit more in detail about each of these little points of, uh, among others uh, over the next couple of weeks because unfortunately this is immune issue time for a lot of people. Uh, and so if you can be a little more proactive, a little more preventative over the next couple of months, that'll hopefully keep you, uh, you know, playing with the kids, uh, more fun with the family on the weekend, and uh, less time away from work if that's your thing. Okay, take care everyone. Uh, remember you gotta fix the cell if you wanna get well.